Today, we're going to find out if there's really a difference between ChatGPT and ChatGPT+. We're going to ask both ChatGPT and Plus to create the same scripts, and we're going to see who does it better. This is the prompt I typed out. Let's go ahead and give it to both ChatGPT and Plus. ChatGPT Plus gets started right away, and it's a lot quicker. Meanwhile, ChatGPT Regular is going to get started. Regular ChatGPT is definitely taking a lot longer. On the other hand, ChatGPT Plus is done, and looks like it also has some redundancy built into the code. For example, it checks if Copart exists once, and again inside the function. On the other hand, regular ChatGPT takes a much more simple approach. One thing I did notice is that this script is a little more complicated than it needs to be. For that reason, it might not work. Let's go ahead and try it out in-game. I created a script in starter character scripts, and I pasted the code from ChatGPT Plus in. I did forget to create a part named cool part, so let's go ahead and make one. That's our part right there. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see what happens when I step on the part. I expected I wouldn't get killed, and let me explain why. This script right here is parented to the player's character, and even though it's parented to a player, it still acts like a server script. It's checking for cool part in the workspace and reacting to parts touching it. The issue is it's looking for a part called cool part when cool part gets touched. Instead it should be looking for a player to touch cool part, not the part touching itself. This is a really simple fix, let's try and fix it. I set it to check if the part's parent name is equal to our character name. This means if a body part touches cool part then we kill the character. Let's go ahead and walk on the part now. So it definitely looks like it's working, however it did take a little bit of fixing. That's really disappointing considering I paid money for this. On the other hand, regular chat GBT looks like it's done a much better job. Let's disable this script right here and create a new script in server script service. Inside the script I'll paste the code and hit play. This script is definitely a lot more straightforward and it does kill me. I really hate to say this but it looks like ChatGPT won that fight. I have this prompt that says now do a double jump script, let's try it out. Same thing with ChatGPT Plus, let's see how this works. Both ChatGPT and ChatGPT Plus are setting variables. In terms of line count, ChatGPT is a lot more behind. ChatGPT Plus is doing something with a double jumps value. On the other hand, regular ChatGPT is taking a more conventional approach. Once again, let's start with ChatGPT Plus first. I'm just going to enable the script again and change the code. Let's hop into the game and try it out. I'm pressing spacebar right now and I'm not able to double jump. I said it is not working. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and disable the script and change the code inside this one. Now let's copy ChatGPT regular's code and paste it in. This is really weird. There's errors but when I click I can still jump and it's not a double jump. I'm jumping into the sky. This was a pretty funny bug so I had to get my auto clicker out. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see if we can reduce the cooldown. Here's the cooldown right here. Let's go ahead and set it to zero. We're back in the game, I'm gonna turn the auto clicker on, and looks like we're just gonna keep going up forever. It's important to know that these are really simple bugs. If you wanna learn how to fix these errors yourself, click the video on your screen right now and get started with scripting today. Even if you don't wanna learn how to script, just subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.